And good afternoon, Retro Commanders, and welcome back to Saturday Afternoon, where of course we begin to play retro games and so on and so forth and have lots of fun, etc, etc, etc. So, um, today, um, and welcome, welcome, <laughs> today we embark on, well, I'm quite looking forward to this actually, we're going to embark on Wing Commander. Okay, Wing Commander. So, for those of you who know modern games, okay, so Star Citizen, um, most of, most people in the space sim genre will have heard of Star Citizen, right? Okay. Now, the guy behind Star Citizen, Chris Roberts, cut his teeth on space games from a long, long time ago. Okay, um, and and kind of Wing Commander is and 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 the various different versions of Wing Commander are. Effectively, I don't know if they're officially because I don't know I don't know much about the law of Wing Commander, but I think they're related at the very least to Star Citizen. Or Star Citizen is kind of a a sequel in spirit to Wing Commander. So these Wing Commander games kind of precede Star Citizen, um, and they start a long, long time ago. Okay, a long, long time ago. Um, the game we're going to start with is Wing Commander One. Uh, surprisingly enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which is from 1990. Um, now, I, ha I uh, personal admission, I haven't played it before, so I have no idea what I'm doing at this. I've literally I downloaded because <laughs> I was a bit, I've been a bit busy this week. Um, I literally I paid for it from GOG or GOG or whatever it's called, um, and downloaded it this morning. Fired, installed it, fired up to make sure it worked, and that's it. I have, I've done nothing else. I haven't mapped any keys or anything, so this might be a little bit of an abortive attempt to play the game. Um, but I have played Wing Commanders 3 and 4, uh, which I do remember quite well. Um, so Wing Commander 1 is, is, is a complete mystery to me. I have no idea. All I know is it is an MS-DOS game, um, and I believe it came out on a few other platforms as well. People who know uh, the Wing Commander series better than me uh, may be able to advise that's a bit. That's that a bit low. Um, so I don't know. So I've literally downloaded it from GOG, and, and here it is. So let, let's let's dive in and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> Wing Commander is wicked, says DJ Squee. Um, watching retro games while playing a game from 2020. Why not? Um, and Kill Rathi. Now the Kill Rathi are the baddies. It's certainly in the third game. I don't know. Are they? Are they in the? I don't know. <laughs> We've got to find out. So there's there's some lore and stuff to discover. Um, the only thing I remember was the suspicious placing of the joystick. I'm sure that's interesting to come. Um, Mad Monk once went on a killing spree, killing all the wingmates. Oh, we got wingmates as well. Went to their funeral, everything. Gave a eulogy. <laughs> but in Wing Commander Three, I tried it and was court martialed. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the follow there, uh, Dil Pixon. Uh, greetings from the Isle of Sky, says DJ Ambrosia. Uh, played it on the PS PS One. Wow, so this is this is probably going back in time, isn't it? Um, right, so let's anyway, let's let's see what the game does because I I have no clue. Okay. Uh, right, so this is this is basically it. Okay, so we've got this is MS DOS mode. Uh, <laughs> Wing Commander One. This is cast your way. Back. So this is you know interesting to put this in context. So this is pre um, some of the other games we played recently. So. Um, um, you know, not obviously. This is post the ZX Spectrum era that we were were playing on um, in the last few weeks. So it's it's a few years later than the ZX Spectrum. So the ZX Spectrum and uh, is, is is fading away now. You know, the 8-bit era is over. This is very firmly in the 16-bit world. Um, I'm just trying to remember PC specs from this era. Um, 1990, to my mind, is sort of 486 territory. Um, I don't think the Pentium is out yet. Um, so, um, but you know, people who know their hardware might be able to correct me. But I think we're talking 486, late 386 perhaps, late territory, before the Pentium processor on the PC. Uh, PlayStation 1 era. <laughs> so it's, it's a long, long, long time ago. We're talking 30, 31 years ago. So it's, it's still pretty retro. Um, I had a 486 DX, I say the DX, no, that was the, that was the, that was the, because then there was all that weird stuff, wasn't there, Frank Miner, about clock doubling and, and stuff, because I think the 486, came out at 25 megahertz to start with and then there was a 33 version then you could clock double the 25 to make it 50 and clock double the 33 to make it six and turbo buttons who remembers them <laughs> that's so 80s isn't it um yeah for those of you who don't know pcs used to have a turbo button and it <laughs> It was actually there for backward compatibility with old software that couldn't cope with additional speed. Uh, but of course, you know, everybody had to have a computer with a turbo button. And it was, 
<laughs> it was actually literally marked turbo. So you had a button, a physical button on your PC that when you pressed it, there was normally an LED as well. Uh, the LED would light up, you know, turbo engaged. <laughs> How cool was that? And of course, nobody ever switched off the turbo because why would you? Uh, <laughs> it's so 80s. <laughs> I wish I wish you'd bring back turbo buttons. Um, nobody ever deselected the turbo. No, they did turbo buttons. Were, well, turbo buttons were cool. Um, I remember installing the overprocess to make the SXs. That's right. I, I can't remember quite what the difference was. Something about an onboard code processor or something on the DX chip to make, uh, and the SX was like a cut down. But I, it's a long time ago. I do vaguely remember that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is definitely yesterday's tech. So anyway, so uh, Wing Commander with secret missions uh, to the secret missions crusade and three exit programs. So I'm I'm, I'm going to go with one. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my first PC. My first PC was a was a um, an XT PC with an 8086 because I got it cheap. Um, and then I think I had a 386 SX. I think, and then I. Th I don't think I ever had a 486 actually. I think I skipped straight to a Pentium 75 because because reasons. Um, and that's where I believe I played Wing Commander 3 because you know the CD-ROM and the, and the sound card and the graphics card were just beginning to come out at that point and, and change the game. Now this game makes no use of graphics cards, okay? Um, it probably doesn't, I don't know. I, I don't know whether it makes much use of sound either. We'll have to wait and see what it looks like. Um, so anyway, let's go for one and we'll see. All right. Ooh, look at this. Loading Wing Commander. This is so old school. Expanded memory. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, ooh. Oh, we got sound. Got the orchestra. That's in the distant. Oh. In the distant future, Wing Commander, 1990, <laughs> designed by Chris Roberts. There we go. So that we ought to watch the intro sequence. Really, here we are. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Dogfight intelligence. Oh, that sounds cool. Dogfight choreography. Space system. <laughs> my my younger self would love this. <laughs> well, actually, my current self loves it as well. Um, it does look very exciting, doesn't it? <laughs> Writing. Wow. Screenplay. Okay. Maniac was my favourite character. Yeah, I liked him in three and four. Um, never had it on PC, I recall. Sound was better on the MIG. Yeah, it probably was. It's not bad. I'm guessing this is an ad lib or a sound blaster type affair going on here. So it's kind of kind of doing the credits, really. <laughs> 16 minutes of credit. <laughs> You're flying through a, uh, an asteroid field of some description. Right, does... Okay, so is there any more of a cutscene here or are we kind of just watching credits roll? Um, it's ad lib, okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's it's pretty good actually for 1990, yeah. So I, I think you're right. Um, <laughs> Big Boo, hello, sir. Good to see you as well. Good to see you. I think it's waiting for me to press a key. Let's let's do that. Right, okay. Start the Vega campaign, continue campaign, or start the secret missions. Well, I don't think I'm going to jump in with the. <laughs> 16. Yeah, so this is kind of 16-bit. This is this is where I suppose you can argue that um, Star Citizen starts, really, isn't it? The Wing Commander series. Um, this game pioneers the cinematography style games. Yeah, so there's a lot of... I remember 3 and 4 being very cinematographic. They, they were very, very good. So I'm looking forward to getting to them because I remember them. I'm looking forward to playing them back. But this is, this is kind of retro for me because I never played 1 and 2. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to see what happens. I mean, they're going to be primitive by three and four standards, but it's showing how quickly the game moved on. So this again is 1990. So we're doing right. So start the Vega campaign. Fade to black. Bum bum ba. Get oh, get ready. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> I 
are there. <laughs> Congratulations, you have a top score. Please enter your name and call sign. <laughs> I think I died already. Um, oh, I see what you mean about the joystick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the trading mission. GG. Okay. <laughs> Did I lose already? Now, I don't... Is there... I don't know if it's picked up my HOTAS or not. Um, okay, so let's... It's, there you go. Um, call sign. Um, <laughs> what's my call sign? I know. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Is that a well work? I, I mean, I died. I, I didn't even know what, what I was doing. Okay, so it looks like... looks like I died for some... <laughs> I got some points, though. What do they do? Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'm in the I'm in the space bar. I'll oh, check this out. Okay, so fly the training mission. I kind of I feel like I need to set some keys up. Talk to shop glass. Talk to paladin or talk to angel. And oh, no, I remember some of these names. Paladin and angel. I definitely remember. Check the pilot scores. Talk to shop glass. Is there? Where's this sort of game set up? Uh, does anybody know? Um, talk to, so I can talk to uh, there must be some surely some key mapping or something that's a training simulator you always die when you start the game it's just a way for you to enter your name oh okay so that <laughs> didn't do anything wrong <laughs> that's kind of reassuring um, maybe if I press escape no uh, okay so I can go into the barracks I don't know what that's going to do for me. Um, try the sim first. Yeah, the sort of it's kind of reminds me of um, the sim music reminds me of um, oh, what's that racing game? Outrun. It reminds me of that. Okay, fly the training mission. Right, select enemy. Uh, okay, so I've got like four different shit. Well, let's choose that one. Okay, get ready. Oh, it's it's actually picked up my joystick. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, well, it's, it's not your, it's not the traditional your control. Am I, am I locked on target or not? And speed, how do I, I okay, I don't know what the controls are. It's map the joystick. I don't think I'm hitting him or not. I think I hit him that time. To establish how to do a target lock. Yay! I killed something! Yay! <laughs> oh, there's one out there. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so, well, the joystick's working again. Um, your score is only. There you are, so squirrel, still there. Right, okay, so the joy, the joystick is working. Um, but there must be a speed control. T to slip to target and L. I, yeah, I need some kind of keys. Um, let's see if we can see if we can work this out then. L. Oh, okay. Well, L worked. L has locked on target. That's good. I don't know. Okay, so that's my shield is recharging. Okay, that's a good thing. Oh, it's so low res. <laughs> it's like must be six forty by four eighty. How do I fire a missile? That looks like I've lost a gun. Enter. Yes! Well done. Okay, so I've got missiles as well. I don't know if that worked. Boom. Oh, it has the target. Okay. I'm not sure. Yes, I've got that guy. Alright, so lock. Okay. Shields. Oh, I've lost the ducks and damage. I'm guessing. Okay, so we've got damage simulation as well, that's quite nice. Kill another one. 
Yes! Not so sure about the music. The enemy ships seem to sort of dive towards you, do a really sharp turn, and then. Oh, I need to be locked, don't I? I've almost lost my shields. Come on, I can get this done. I think I must be out of missiles. Is there a speed control? That someone needs to tell me that, because I'm I'm at a tactical disadvantage not being able to maneuver my speed. Does anybody know the keys? Keys are good. Now is there any way I can tell how strong the opponent is as well? That's the other thing. Um, I mean I never my shields are my my displays are busted. Oh, he's hitting me. I think I'm almost dead. I think I've lost weapons. I've got no weapons left. I think my ship is I'm, I'm a sitting duck. I've got no weapons. <laughs> Plus and minus is speed. Excellent. Okay, so can I make any way I can repair my ship. Okay, basically the score is how long do you stay alive? Okay, plus and minus. Okay, that seems to work. I've got no weapons. You can lock on target, but I appear to have no weapons left. Um, tab to boost. Okay. Remember playing this on my bigger mode. Right, now this guy kind of needs to finish me off then because I think I'm dead. I'm going to slow down and let him shoot me to pieces because I've got no weapons left. I'm guessing I've picked up some damage, but I can't tell. He's not doing a very good job of killing me, but I can't fire back. Um, eject, control E. No, that doesn't do anything. E? Nope. Control E doesn't seem to do anything for me. I beat my high score, that's the important thing. Right, come on, finish me off. Doesn't know my ship is... He is able to manoeuvre, but has no guns. <laughs> okay, so... Is it... Oh, auto-target. Yeah. Well, that's the target. Boom! Okay, kill me. There we go. Right. Ramming speed. Oh, I've got external views as well. Excellent. Brilliant. Okay, we need to try that. And I have a high score. Six. There we are. Squirrel. We're at 74,000. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. So, the <laughs> okay, that was the training mission. Okay, so I'll try and remember some of the keys. Um, F2, F3, F1, F4 are the views. Right. Okay, so let's, let's talk. Okay, let's talk to Shot Glass. Okay. Belly off our friend and take a load off. Okay, so sort of cut screeny type. You must be Squirrel. <laughs> I'm Shot Glass, welcome. You used to be a pilot myself, of course you did. Till the flea bag shot me up so bad I couldn't fly. So presumably the flea bags are these cat guys. I guess I flew with almost every pilot on the claw, which is presumably our mothership. So if you want to know how one pilot or another flies, okay, old Shot Glass is a guy to ask, okay. Stop by when you're off duty and we'll talk more, okay. Okay, so this I kind of do remember from Wing Commander 3, you know, the ability to interact with characters is quite cool. This is obviously much more primitive, old school. So Paladin, right. Oh, Claddy, take a seat and tilt a glass with old Paladin. <laughs> Scottish. It doesn't look very Scottish. I once recall when I was, uh, I once recall when I was just a lieutenant, I can't do a Scottish accent, by the way. I was just a lieutenant. Oh, hang on. We were flying patrol at the Accord. <laughs> Fourth planet in the Alliance system. Oh, hello. What's the point, monsieur? Is there one? We oh, she's French. Where'd she come from? Oh, I was leading up to it, lass. Okay, so another conversation. That day we learned that a Southie will always turn to the left. It's got something to do with the way our engines and ducks are arranged. Okay, what's a Southie? A ship? Um, so when you tail a Southie, what to the left? Okay, well, that's interesting. That's where he'll go when he makes his break. Right, turn to the left better. Okay, so talk to Balin. So this is, must be Angel, she's French. Bonjour, Lieutenant. Um, you are called Squirrel, no? <laughs> I'm called Angel. Angel and Squirrel. I'm just repeating something that's on our recent account. With the Kilrathi, it is the Kilrathi. Um, uh, would you like to know what I have learned, perhaps? Uh, would you like to learn uh, what I have learned, perhaps? Uh, I will say this only once. 
Dilrethi is the kill. The Dil Dilrethi is the Kilrethi fighter scene. Right. These figures show that 1.4 missile. 1.4 to destroy the Del Del the Drelthi. I mean these names. Uh, while well, over seven direct laser hits are necessary to destroy the same vessel. Okay. 1.4 missiles. So two then. I hope this information is useful to you, Lieutenant. Thank you, Angel. I hope this information is useful to you. Okay. Sorry. I will stop with the very, very, very stupid accents. So that's quite good. We got a Scottish guy, Paladin. Okay, Jim. Okay, okay laddie. <laughs> and then we've got Angel, who's French. Ah, uh, fabulous. <laughs> so, so we've got the Drouthy, which presumably is a Kilrathi ship. And there was the Southy, South Southy, which is presumably another Kilrathi ship, which always turns to the left. I need to remember that. Um, get the knife out for the point. I mean, a point four of a missile. What does that mean? Uh, it's two, right? <laughs> because one isn't going to cut it. Um, okay, so pilots, that's... Okay, so who have we got on board? Carrier, Tiger's Claw. I, hang on, I remember the Tiger's Claw. Pilot, sorties, and kill. Okay, so this is... No, so, so I'm second Lieutenant Wago. I'm right at the bottom. Oh, there's Marshall. Is that Marshall... The other guy who uh, Biff from um, Back to the Future. Uh, ultimately, it's Biff from Back to the Future. Captain Devereaux, Captain. Again, some of these names are familiar. Captain St. John Taggart, Casey, and Salties and Kills. Okay, so Second Lieutenant Wager has yet to achieve anything. Uh, Marshall is Maniac. That's right. Yeah, I liked him. Yeah, okay. Your capital carry ship is the Tiger's Claw. Okay, so that's the ship we're presumably on right now. What's in the barracks then? Oh, I know. That's <laughs> Why is there a leak on the roof? <laughs> is it raining outside? <laughs> uh, I look at <laughs> a scantily clad girl poster. I mean, <laughs> that is so wrong. <laughs> It's very, well, it's kind of, I suppose it's very 80s. It's not really even 90s, my goodness me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that does date it, doesn't it? Uh, right, so what, what, why is it raining in space? Is there a leak from, from the floor above or something? So I'm guessing there is artificial gravity in the Wing Commander universe. Um, <laughs> And it's it's a it's it's kind of like Odyssey, isn't it? There's stuff all over the floor. Uh, nobody's tidied up. This looks like a bloke's. Um... Oh, so these are save slots. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh... Okay. So that's exit to DOS. We don't want to go there. Um, that's the mission hangar. And so view your medals. Okay. So <laughs> fortunately, the the scantily clad lady doesn't interact. Um, and that's return to the bar. Okay, right. So view my medals. Let's have a view. Presumably, I haven't got any medals at the moment. Uh, Second Lieutenant Wager, otherwise known as Squirrel. <laughs> NU system date twenty six fifty four, which presumably is is the, is the date. Um, is this good? This computer programmers think everyone else is untidy. <laughs> Um, in in, in the 60, I kind of like Drew's Prussian tobacco. Like, yeah, you're, unfortunately, you 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 get a lot of that. Make a save point. So, okay, so which I'm not gonna well, I'm not gonna sleep near this because that's gonna drive me out. So I'm actually gonna sleep over here then. Um, enter game name. Um, Drew one. There we go. Oh, look, <laughs> it's me. Awaken Drew one. <laughs> that's quite a nice way of doing the save game. So you've got eight game save game slots. Um, <laughs> I'm a programmer and I didn't even think. Why is, <laughs> why is there a link from the ceiling? <laughs> that's just really weird. Um, okay, so that's the save game mechanism. I can go back to the bar that way. Okay, so there's the training thing. So, presumably in the training, I won't. Uh, so, presumably in here, I can select. It doesn't tell me what they are. Okay. But, but presumably those are different types of kill Rathy's ship. Um, and. Okay, so basically I can have the same message from, from them. Okay, then I go to the barracks. So presumably through here is where I go on the mission. Okay. Mission briefing, NU system, right, okay. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do, people. The Tiger's Claw dropped from jump space seven hours ago. Uh, Blue Devil Squadron had first patrol, you killer bees. 
of the next shift. You rookies will be flying with experienced pilots on your first missions. Good. Uh, I want the rookies to fly as wing leaders. You vets keep an eye on the kids out there. Okay. Here are the assignments. Squirrel, <laughs> you'll lead the alpha wing. <laughs> Spirit will fly on your wing. She's quiet, but she knows the ropes. Good. Squirrel and spirit. That sounds like a... <laughs> that sounds good. You're the wing leader, but if spirit talks, you be sure to listen. Got it? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Good. Here's your patrol plan then. Right. What are we doing? Okay, so... You'll check three possible jump points about 20,000 clicks out. Okay, nav one, nav two, nav three, presumably. There are asteroids near the nav points two and three, so stay on course. Any questions? So I'm doing a patrol, okay. No, that seems pretty clear. Yes, Commander, what are we to do if we encounter the enemy? Okay, that's a good question. I like this girl, she's good. Um, engage, if the odds look good, let's squirrel. <laughs> I shouldn't have called myself a squirrel, should I? <laughs> Your thoughts wonder. <laughs> My thoughts wonder. Oops. Uh, Remember, this is no training sim. If you see the enemy, he'll be out to kill you. Okay. But no explanation as to who the enemy is or why yet. Be sure you do it to him before <laughs> before the text rolls off the screen so fast. <laughs> that you can't read it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, better get... Better, better, oh, I've got to take this seriously. Right. Killer bees. Right. Here we go. Looks like the cutscenes. They're quite nice, aren't they? Right, so launch from the hangar. Right, so destination. So, okay, weapon display, gun, laser cannon, comp navigation, navigation one. Okay, so presumably I fly towards the navigation. Ugh, navigation beacon. So I can see people. Blue dot, green dot, sorry, blue dots there are. Um, um, blue dots are my wingmen. So presumably. What have I got here? So I've got a fuel... Ugh. Oh, the mouse works as well. Don't want that. Okay, so don't move the mouse. Okay, it's picked up the joystick and the mouse. Uh, so I've got speed, a set speed. Those, uh, presumably over here, I'm looking at shields. Some sort of lock thing. Okay, so somebody said plus minus is speed. Okay, so that increases my speed. 400 is top speed in this ship. Okay, so we're going to destination nav one. So, Spirit, excuse me, Commander, I've noticed enemy ships ready to engage, Commander, so presumably, yes, let's let's engage. Uh, okay. So it's sort of photon torpedoes, really, isn't it? Boom. How do I tell her to engage then? Per se. Oh, I do recognise that Kilrathi ship design. Okay, so it hasn't told me how to control my wingman though. So A tells them to do stuff on my behalf, does it? Oh yeah, she's fighting, look. Ah, oh, so it's actually got... The wingmen actually do something. They don't just hang around and... Boom! It's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite good. Okay, so press C to communicate. All right, okay, so keep radio silence, return to base, never mind. Okay, C, nice! I like that. Okay, so lots of interaction. Right, so... Uh, how do we go for the next objective? That was my bit of space background there. Okay, uh, press A. Ah, oh, so A is, ooh, cutscene. Wing commander. Okay, so new objective. Right, okay, so we're now flying to waypoint two, I guess, yep. Okay. I have to say, it does feel quite exciting, this game. Okay, N is for nav point, right, okay. Okay, cool. So we're now flying. I've still got my wing man or wing lady. Wingman, wing lady? Wing woman? Wing <laughs> wing person? I don't know. <laughs> Wingman, let's just <laughs> stick with that. Um, squirrel squirrel and spirit. Oh we've got asteroids. Okay. Quite 
dangerous asteroids. And they did warn some asteroids, so that's fair enough. Wing person. <laughs> oh, don't hit an asteroid. Okay, right, we're getting. Ugh. Asteroids are flying all over the shop. Apologies for the noise if you can get out of the back. Someone's mowing their lawn again or building something. Um, Wingmate. Oh, don't hit the. Sh Ejector system hit. I shouldn't have crashed into that asteroid, I think. Okay, so right, we got the we got to the second waypoint with no issues. That's good. So A or S or N. Uh, right, so now three, I'm guessing. She's up there. Okay, so the asteroid fields actually are dangerous. Yeah. You've got to dodge the asteroids, which is which is which is good. That's gameplay, isn't it? Um, you can't use A if in danger. A sort of skips to the next thing. Um, okay, so let's go a bit faster there. What was it? Tab did you say for a boost? Oh yeah, 12, 1200. Nice. Right, so, oh, we got we got bad dudes. So A. Uh, N? No, C. There, yeah, no. Uh, C. Uh, enemy target. Die, Furble. Oh, that's a cat. Oh, I said the comms to the cat. Oops. I don't know how you identify the different types of shit, but... Oh, that's a selfie. Oh, okay, it tells me. So he's likely to turn to the left most times. Okay, let's... Boom. Anyway, it did now. Okay, that's back on target. Where is he? That's a selfie as well. Okay, so hang on. Comms to spirit. Uh, attack my target. Oh, that's so cool. My honour is to obey. So I can issue instructions to wingman. And 1990. <laughs> Love it. I know it's only a single player game, but that is such a nice thing to be able to do, to interact with people in the game. Very cool. We won, I think, eh? Space T. Yeah, no, the Space T hasn't arrived yet. My wife and my son are out at the moment, so I'm hoping they'll be back in time for the space T. So new objective is the tiger's claw itself. Which is over there. We've got to get through the asteroid field again. Sounds like I've got a bit of victory music going on there. Da 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 da. Yep. And having a small action window helps the. F yeah. The Oops. Ah no! I hit a rock. <laughs> Didn't even see it coming. No. <laughs> we are coming here to <laughs> Oops. It's <laughs> sad to lose a pilot. On my first mission, I died. <laughs> it's difficult when he was as young as Squirrel. <laughs> keep going. Right, okay, so I, I should keep firing. Okay, he died without even the chance to prove himself. Oh, I killed three Kilrathi ships. Surely that, that's got to count for something. <laughs> Dear Jen, prepare. <laughs> well, at least I get him. Get a sign off. I don't just get a floating gravestone. <laughs> oh, they're chucking me out into space. Well, they got my body back somehow. Uh, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> oh, that's the end. Watch. <laughs> well, I usually die for the early on on the stream. So, right, okay. Um, so I, I'm a, I need to be a bit wiser then. Okay, so here we go again, right? <laughs> so. I presume I've got to start again. Oh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? And then, then I've got to die again <laughs> in order to get... Right, last name Wango. I think I need a better call sign than Squirrel, actually. Twice. I'm just going to be chuckling all the way along. Uh, what's a good call sign? Um, or can I load? Can I load where I was? Because that was before... I can't get out of it now. I don't think it's going to make much difference because I was literally at the beginning, wasn't I? Um, <laughs> spirit. Um, um, yeah, Jenny. Jenny! <laughs> Jenny, it's got to be Jenny. 
cool sign, Jenny. <laughs> Um, right, do I have to go through this or not? Um, let's just see if I can go straight to the mission briefing, because I'm not going to be... Right, so I know all this. It's the same mission, and I've got Spirit... So Spirit and Jenny. Right, okay, so I need to I need to shoot asteroids. I need to bear that in mind. Good cut scenes, actually, for 1990s. Um... <laughs> It does feel very spacey, it's, it's good, I like it. And even launching from the ship, that's quite good. Right, now I know a little bit more about what's going on, so uh, I feel more confident. He says, hopefully. Right, let's get to Nav 1. Do, 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 do. And there were some, there were some bad guys at Nav 1, weren't there? So, um, okay, to Spirit. Keep radio silence. I spy one of his two over. She's very good. I like her. Um, okay, there's target. Let's tell her to attack my target. Slow down a bit. There she goes. Look at the go. So it actually is actually out there doing stuff. She's actually firing and missing and hitting and doing stuff. So that's actually really nice that she's interacting and she's firing missiles. Check that out. Flying around, trying to kill it as well. So this must be that amazing AI. Oh, you can actually see the bullets hitting the other ship. Nice. Okay, so. And the music continues all the way through. This is very. Uh, to be honest, this is pretty. Whoa, don't shoot your own. That was she. You straight into my firing. Oh, she killed him. She did it as well. Nice. Okay, so A. And we skip to the next scene. Very cool. The alien ships are quite... They do look a little bit, don't they? Um, the, <laughs> the helmet of the cross thing looks like a motor. Uh, okay, so let's get in here. Now, we need to be careful of asteroids. Okay, I need to bear that in mind. Once we start seeing asteroids. I don't think there was any bad guys at the second waypoint. But it might be RNG, so I don't know. Um, I can use the boost contact. Woo, don't go too far through the <laughs> asteroid field. That's a bad mistake. Don't turbo through the asteroid field. There's another top tip. I need to try the missiles. What were the missiles again? Enter, wasn't it? Um, my guns don't seem very effective against the asteroids. at their destination. Almost. Objective reached. Okay, so there was nothing there. Yep, that's the same as the previous mission. Don't hit the asteroids, Drew. Okay. Let's get on to the next. So that's quite good. It's got some space hazards as well. I quite like that. Right, bandy guys. Right, comms. Spirit. Attack my target. Get in there. Stop doing some killing and stuff. It's got good pew pew sounds as well. I'm liking this. Right, let's see if I can get to an end of a mission and save my position. Ow. Something shooting me. It's shooting my rear shield off. Don't want to look at that. Let's do some evasives. Use a missile or some of that. Did that hit? It's quite difficult to see because <laughs> the graphics are slow though, res. Oh, now I've got damage on one side of my ship. This isn't going so well this time. I would say the difficulty level here is 
quite high. I'm going to engage the other one since, since she's obviously dealing with the first one. Boom! Yes. Alright, let's get the last one. How's she doing? Okay, he's got some damage, which is good. I can sort of. It's just. I wish the graphics were a little bit higher res. It's quite. <laughs> you know, because it's old school. Oh, I see, I've got to keep him targeted for. And the, and the movement is quite jerky, but it's definitely playable. I'm not quite sure I'm getting this missile targeting system working either. Victory music. Okay, from the sound, it seems to be running a little fast. Maybe the speed. Oh, my ship is quite badly damaged, though. Computer says hit. Computer system hit, I'm guessing. So, there we are. Hazard near navigation three. Did we not hit? Wait, I suppose we didn't actually get to the nav point, did we? Okay, so we just need to be a bit careful of asteroids. My guns seem to have died. If I switch them off. Oh, I did hit an asteroid. Okay. Okay, so I've got to just fly my way through here now. I hope I don't hit another one. <laughs> I've got quite a lot of damage, I'm guessing, to the ship there. I've got the shields up, but it looks like I've got flank damage. Okay, so, right, we need to get back to the tiger's claw now. Let's hope I can... I thought it was just me getting old, so everything seems fine. It does, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it was outrageously fast. It's it's quick. It's quite a challenge, but it's not it's not too difficult. Um, I hit an asteroid. It looked like debris. Yeah. So okay. So I took some damage. If I can just get back, I'm kind of limping home then, aren't I? <laughs> With some battle damage. That's okay. Uh, WC1 is inf infamous for being iffy with the speed of the CPU. 486 was unplayable. Okay. The game is running about twice the speed that it should. So I don't know if I've got any options. Oh, is that the Tiger's Claw? So I can actually see my my mothership. How do I dock with it then? Okay, that's quite cool. So how do I how do I dock with it? Press C. Ah, Tiger's Claw. Request landing. You're clear to land. How do I how do I land there? Ugh. Okay, they're going that way, so where are they going? Where do I go? There's an arrow pointing at just A. Already near. So, is there a landing bay or something? underneath there. Fly slowly towards the end end of the runway. Is that the runway? Oh I see that's a sort of that's like it's like an aircraft carrier. Okay. Range two thousand kilometers so it's a pretty big ship then. Then you have to fly into the slot. Well I can't see a slot. What was the slot? You need to approach the tiger's claw so you can fly just above the white belly, which the pylons point up from the sides. Uh, okay. okay, so maybe let me fly in that direction a bit and then turn around. Okay, so what am I looking at? So that looks like the ship's moving around to me. It's not, hopefully, not staying very still. So where am I? Where am I heading towards? <laughs> White belly, because it's. 
<laughs> it's so low res, I can't really see what I'm looking at. Um, there's definitely a pointy arrow there. And it's all disappeared. Uh, boost pass, entrance, entrance, front of the ship. Okay, let's go that way then. Let's see if I can get another look around. Okay, so more that sort of direction. I can't seem to get in front of the <laughs> in front of the ship. Oh, is that it? kind of there? It's not very clear. Go in from the front. Okay. Let's try and angle ourselves so that we can see the front. Right, is that... Is that the front? Good. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's sort of orientated itself. It looks a bit like the Enterprise on that angle. Is there a roll command? Okay, so there is a slot. No, 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 don't tilt the. <laughs> I can't. <do> this. <laughs> is that it there? Am I going to die a horrible death again? That's the slot. Okay, right. I'm going to try aiming in there. Boom. Okay, so it auto does it. All right. Houses. That was quite hard. Okay, so we've landed. <laughs> My ship's all shot up. Excellent. <laughs> Glad to see you made it back alive, sir. It's always good. Uh, mission debriefing. Oh, okay, so we're still alive. Welcome back, Jimmy. <laughs> you survived your first trip out. That's always good. He's a he's a. Oh, I'm a he. I've got. <laughs> My gender has been assumed. Um, it's not a fly on this wing. Oh, well, Spirit likes me. Now, you flew well out there. I received a mission report for your flight recorder. Let's go over the mission report. Okay, you've got three of the hairballs, Jenny. I think I might need to change it to something else. Um, and two Kilrathis for Spirit. Nice. That's all then. Dismissed. Okay, so that's quite good. Um, so talk to Spirit. I can talk to my barkeep as well. She's a quiet little thing, but she's a heck of a flyer. Yeah, she's quite good. She's rock steady, follows orders, don't fire till she's sure of her shot. Always glad to have spirit on my wing when I was still flying. So you've got different, okay, so you've got different commanders with different styles. Um, uh, konnichiwa, Wega-san. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Please take a seat. If I may say so, you're doing quite well. I think that's quite a compliment, actually. Colonel Summer is most pleased with your performance thus far. There was no need to praise me before him, though, honourable second lieutenant. Credit for a mission success is due to its leader, not his assistance. Oh, she's, so she's very traditional. I see by your expression that you do not believe me. I assure you I speak what is in my heart. Okay, so she's very straight up and true. I like that. Uh, who's this guy? So Hunter. You're Jenny, right? They call me Hunter, mate. Good day. <laughs> How many country stereotypes have you got in this game? <laughs> Spirit here. I'm telling me about your dumb old hair. <laughs> Sort of Starbuck going on with a bit of an Australian accent. Sounds like you really mixed it up out there. That's the way, isn't it, mate? You just go get some airball twisting about trying to get a missile lock. She's <laughs> your uh, middle wingman. That's all sheep dip. <laughs> all the bros can get on. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's so 80s, 90s, isn't it? With a kind of just uh, right. Let's okay, so a Japanese person. They're going to be all honourable, okay? And an Australian bloke. He's going to be all bruised, isn't he? <laughs> and the Scottish guy. Well, he's going to he's going to be all like I am. <laughs> and then the French lady. She is going to be just the lovely and sweet. And I haven't decided who's the guy. Which which nationality is the guy behind? <laughs> Polishing her guitar now, she is as well, isn't she? <laughs> oh, this is quite funny. Um, right, so so anyway, let's let's. Um, no, I don't want to awaken Drew. So 
save this campaign game name. Let's call that Drew Two. So I've done a bit better. Can I change? Can I change my Jenny name, or is that kind of is that now built in? Not that it really matters, but um, <laughs> don't we need stereotype? So anyway, presumably I go on to the next mission. That's presumably how the game goes. Okay, so you just fly missions. Was it was it a guitar? No, that's definitely a, that. Oh, well, I don't know. Is that? Well, it's not a guitar, is it? It's some sort of. I think it's some sort of instrument. Although you can't see it when she's talking here. So, um, oh. yeah, it, it looks like a sort of. Maybe it's a stringed instrument. <laughs> Nobody's done anything about the leak. It's it's some sort of stringed instrument, but I don't think it's a guitar. It's something else, um, or maybe it is a guitar. <laughs> Solo res. It's difficult to tell, isn't it? Um, okay, so right, <laughs> that's quite funny. Right, and the leak still hasn't been fixed. So presumably that's telling me that the tiger claw. Oh, it's a, a, a shamanin, a Japanese guitar. There we go. Oh, check the pilot board. Okay. Um, look at that. Um, sorties one kills three. Okay, so I've got to uh, try and compete with all these other guys. All right, gotcha. Um, okay, so right, so I've saved it there. Okay, so presumably this is trying to tell me that the tiger's claw. Oh, look at that little! It's got a little heartbeat. <laughs> That's quite cute. Um, so. <laughs> Very stereotypical, it is. Um, yeah, so um, there are some actors that come in. The full motion video version is um, Wing Commander 3, I believe. So it's going to take us a little while to get there, but uh, we will head in that direction eventually. Um, a Shamazan. Oh, a Shamazan, yeah, that's right. I do know about that. that. Um, um, right, so I presume, so anyway, uh, before I get distracted by the next mission, presumably this kind of leaky interior with slightly flickering lights and hanging things. Because look, even the light's not working properly, look. Uh, which is a nice little touch. Presumably this means the Tiger Claw, which is the mothership or the carrier or whatever it's called in this, um, is um, is a bit is a bit run down. That's the, that's the impression I'm getting, is that this ship is a bit second hand. Uh, that door there is exit to DOS. Um, so we don't want to go there at the moment. So presumably I'll go to the next mission. So that's presumably how the game works. Multiple missions. Br mission briefing. Okay, so Ypsilon Wing is Jenny and Spirit. Oh, we got Spirit again. Okay. You'll be escorting a Drake. Oh, no. Not an escort mission. <laughs> Everybody hates escort missions. Your rendezvous with the transport upon launch. Okay. Escort it to nav point one. On to nav two, where it will initiate a jump sequence. Okay, so there's hyperspace in this game. Once it's jumped out, you'll return by the most direct route straight back to the tiger's claw. Simple enough. Um, your job is to make sure the transport jumps out. Okay, so presumably something's going to go wrong. I don't want you leaving her to chase down bogies. <laughs> I won't chase the bogies. It's all right. Um, if the enemy retreats, stay with the transport. Questions. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so why is nav one so far out of the way? So she's smart. I like spirit. Um, I hope she stays alive. <laughs> um, there is an asteroid field between the Draymond Sport would never make it through. Okay. Uh, anything else? Okay, so let's get to work. Squadron dismissed. I like the fact that my wingman is smarter than me. Um, fail missions without dying and you'll eventually change to another branch as well. Okay, so branching missions. <sighs> That's quite cool at this era of games. Um, uh, a bit run down, you think? Okay, no, I don't know anything about the background to the Tiger Claw at the moment. The game hasn't told me anything about the carrier, but that's certainly an impression. Okay, so the ship is quite run down. Okay, so this is the carrier, I'm guessing, which is on its way to nav point one. Okay, so we'll call. We'll just cruise. So can I talk to the. No, I can't talk to the carrier. So spirits on my wing. First game I played that had br truly branching storylines. That, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Okay, so nav point one is a little way off. Presumably, we're going to have to defend the carrier. The graphics are sort of sprites, aren't they? They're sprites that have different orientations. Um, it's not it's not actually vector graphics so that's another thing in terms of that it's um, 
Uh, it's not vector graphics, it's a sprite which is, there must be multiple sprites from different angles rather than resort to vector graphics, which is an interesting choice um, in terms of the way the game's been implemented. Um, I can press A to skip ahead. Uh, okay. Okay, because nothing's happening. All right. Okay. Excuse me, Commander. I have noticed enemy ships. Okay, so. I suppose we should try and deal with them. Actually, I need to comms spirit. Attack my target. Okay, so I'll get the other one. You want to keep them away from. too far away from the carrier because the game would probably fail me. Where's the carrier? I respectfully request that you attack the enemy. Yep. Sorry about that, my dear. seem quite fast, they seem to be able to outrun me, but maybe that's the boost side. Ah, it's firing at my... Use the boost to get there. Where's Spirit, anyway? It's not attacking me, it's attacking the... Still alive. Yes, always good. <laughs> um, okay, so presumably I can. A? Eh? Yep, okay. Right, we're still both alive. And so is our escort. Okay, so you've noticed enemy ships. Spirit um, attack. deal with them. Okay, she's good. She's already on top. Let's be a bit careful here. Yeah, see, it's um, I need that one. You need to leave my escort alone. will avenge me. Excellent. <laughs> Stop shooting at my escort. Boom. Yes. Let's get the last one. Spirits managed to kill. Good work. Good work. Right. How's our... Okay. It's still there, which is good. <laughs> we use the engine for Wing Commander 2, Wing Commander Galaxy. Okay. So is that is that the same? So Wing Commander 2 is kind of a sequel to this. Okay, so wait for the Drayman. Alright, okay, where is the Drayman? There it is. Okay, it's here. What's it going to do? Objective reached. So presumably the Drayman is going to boom! Hyperspace out. Yep. Okay, so that's spirit. Presumably, our new objective is just to head back to waypoint. To just go back to Tiger's Claw. Nice. Oh, mission achieved. <laughs> D 
Didn't get proper 3D until Wing Commander 3. Okay, I've got an asteroid field. Oh, stop chucking asteroids at me. Okay, it looks like I've come in at the front of the ship, which is, which is good. Uh, where's the docking? Is that the back or the front? <laughs> I think that's the back. I think. See to request docking. Oh, good point. Yes. Oh, you can just kind of do that. Okay, good. So I think you can just kind of fly in close. I like the way the landing pad's 07. Did you see that? You arrive aligned. Okay, fantastic, Shadow Bob. That's a good tip as well. Cut scene again. Okay, cool. Just in time. You got away pretty clean, so you had to get shot up this time. At least you had to dodge something with their time force. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, the asteroid field is a bit irritating, but <laughs> mission debriefing. Right. Good job out there, Jenny. <laughs> the sport jumped right on schedule. You covered it well. Good. I hate es everybody hates escort missions, right? I mean, thank you, sir. But Spirit deserves as much credit as I do. Oh, I'm a, I'm a. Look at me with my little, my little love curl there. Jenny turned is too kind, sir, and you filmed his wing. I like the way it's personalised, though. That's quite cool. Um, at any rate, that was some nice flying. Good. Well, let's review the mission report. In case we get a little debrief. Uh, presume it tells you how many you killed. Four. And Spirit got one of them. Nice. Uh, Dream Sport made to jump on schedule. All this we know. <laughs> Jenny, I want to see you in my office in a couple of hours. <laughs> that sounds like an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> That's all then, dismissed. Um, is that good or bad? Oh, I've just, I've just been Commander Halcyon. Good name. I like that, Commander Halcyon. Wega, come in. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've been speaking with Sector Command. I need to send you on an important mission into out uncharted space. The brass have been reviewing a record. And I have good news. All that came in this morning. I've been authorised to promote you after only two flights. So I'm second lieutenant at the moment. Presumably, I'm going to be first lieutenant. Congratulations, First Lieutenant Wega. Keep up the good work. Oh, look at that. Look at me. First Lieutenant. <laughs> uh, Jenny, take something down. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. <laughs> we'll be leaving Enyo soon. I need to make some personnel changes. Okay. Uh, effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. No, no, no. I want to stay with my wingmen. Um, I want you in a scimitar class medium fighter the Blue Devil Squadron. Well, that sounds fun. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. You won't be sorry. However, I may go and change my blue hair later, if you don't mind. <laughs> um, why has he got blue hair? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Excellent. So it's all very, very, very militaristic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all then, First Lieutenant. Dismissed. <laughs> Reminds me. Oh, I got a ceremony and everything. The, the meritorious conduct for confronting the kill around the enemy. Um, okay. A oh, four meritorious, yeah. In the ANU system, on or about 2651 110. Where's the Wookiee? 
It's Top Gun in space. It is kind of Top Gun in space, isn't it? It's this looming belt. The Terran Confederation is proud to present the Bronze Star. I got, I got a medal. Excellent. I get a medal. The Wookiee never got a medal. No, he didn't. I oh, know he did though, didn't he? In one of the later Star Wars films. Didn't he get a medal in one of the later Star Wars films? Much, much later. Your courage is exemplary of the Confederation's finest defenders. So, the Confederation. Okay. Um, Chewbacca Wars decorated later on. Good job, Jenny. <laughs> I think I should have been called Bobcat or something like that. Thank you, sir. Bobcat. Bob Kate. Bob, short for Kate. <laughs> Filled with pride, you meet the applause of your fellows. Oh, I've come, gone into narrative mode now. <laughs> so there's different colours actually for what's going on. Okay, so awesome. Okay, so there's more people to talk about. Okay, so look at this, look at this. So I'm now first Lieutenant Wager, and I'm now ahead of somebody. Um, I've only flown two sorties, but I've killed seven of the bad guys. So, okay, so the game hasn't explained why we're fighting the Kilrathi. We just, we just are. Um, so that's that is a little that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, why 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 are we fighting the Kilrathi? What's what's the issue? Knights are darn reliable. Okay, so he's given me a solid shot, a steady flyer. So this is another guy, not flash at all. He's sort of a craftsman, gets the job done though. Uh, Iceman though, he's an artist. Iceman, best pilot on Tiger's Claw, lives to fly and to fight. He's totally ruthless and completely deadly. Some of the pilots say he's got free on for blood. At least that's where he got the call sign. Okay, so I've got Iceman, <laughs> Iceman. <laughs> that's straight out of Top Gun, isn't it? I gotta say, <laughs> there's space, space around the tiger's claw. Either those are bits of the ship that are falling off as we fly through space, or just space is full of debris. Um, you're fighting them because they're the bad guys. <laughs> Wait, even even in the 80s and 90s, we had to have you know, reasons for the bad guys being the bad guys. Uh, polishing your gun in the space bar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just normal space stuff. What's he's got? This guy's got a spoon. So let's, let's talk to Iceman. Because <laughs> he's going to be cool, isn't he? <laughs> Jenny, they call me Iceman. <laughs> Don't let night fool you. Um, the Skims guy, a gun heavy slug. Forget Finis, just head straight in, guns blaring. Give me a ship that takes skill. A raptor, even a hornet. Okay, so we've got different ships as well. One of those new rapiers. Oh, they sound good. He's got a nice steely glint, hasn't he? Half of what they say is true, then rapier is a true artist ship. Okay. So okay, so there's different ships they need to be. Oh, this guy's eating, so night's having a snack. Ever flown scimitars before? I think you're gonna like them. Um, a scimitar isn't quite as fast or nimble as a hornet. But she's got twice the armour as well as heavier guns. That sounds good. Um, and she handles like a centurion mud pig. <laughs> Whatever one of those is. Uh, Iceman Hill, trying to tell you speed and handling will save you butt. But I'll take an extra three centimetres of dura steel plating any day. Okay, so we've got two different schools of thought going on. One is, is highly maneuverable, the other one is, let's give me big guns and armour. Um, <laughs> okay, oh, yeah, that's quite cool, I quite like that. Um, right, so, now do I continue to save? Okay, so save this campaign, Awaken Drew 1. Okay, so I save on top of where I am, that kind of makes sense. Yep, okay. Um, Right, so presumably you just go on to the next mission. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I've kind of lost Spirit. I quite like Spirit. She was quite reliable. She was asking good questions in the briefing as well. All right then, Beta Wing will be led by Jenny. <laughs> Aladdin, you'll be flying. Okay, can I tell you how I'm looking forward to it, Colonel? <laughs> With my glow in the dark moustache and hairpiece. <laughs> Since we jumped in the McAlfie system just a few hours ago, we're still running preliminary patrols. Okay. Jenny, you'll be flying a four point route, checking several potential jump points. Okay. Here's your flight plan. Space is, space is reassuringly two dimensional. That's the other thing that's 
quite interesting here. Uh, <laughs> long range scanners indicate some sort of debris in here. Um, Nav 3. We have reason to believe this might be a Kilrathi minefield. Oh, nice! Okay. Uh, be especially careful in that area. Okay, that's a good tip. Any questions? Right, so Spirit isn't here, so she isn't asking any questions. Uh, it's, really, it's moving the text on too fast. No hands away. Let's get to work! Squadron dismissed. Um, okay, so fly to four nav points and avoid the minefield. Iceman, Iceman into the bell end. <laughs> oh, the, the HUD's different for different ships. That's quite nice. Okay, that's pretty good. New ship. Okay, so shields, front and sides. Nothing can get you top or bottom. Just okay. Uh, okay, so right. So originally we skip. Yeah. Okay, so we're in these funky new ships. Better shields, yeah. Paladin blast, the enemy are upon us. Okay, so. Oh, my HUD's up there now. Okay, so. Go get them, Paladin. Got you covered, laddie. <laughs> oh, he's getting in there. Good for him. Let's get this guy first. Oh, slightly. Slightly funny guns, but. Donk, doink, doink. Nice gas giant in the background. A little bit of space scenery is quite good. Oh, these are half flame though. Boom. Got it in. I'm not sure. <laughs> these are very. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes. It's definitely got better guns. Oh, my front shields are down. Do they recharge? Yeah, they do. Good. Okay. gun sounds are really bad. Oh, I can see it hitting at point blank range, that's quite nice. Have I got the missiles? Have one then. No, that didn't work. I haven't quite sussed out the missile targeting system. Sometimes it seems to work and sometimes it just doesn't. Boom. Da, 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 da. We've got context sensitive mu music. Uh, snowballs, is that what we're chucking? Uh, w should cycle the type of weapon. Oh, okay, so weapon dart DF. Javelin. Oh, I can see. So I've got. Oh, okay, so I've got multiple weapons on board. Okay, so that's quite good. Right, so where are we. Cutscene, presumably. Um, Javel head, head seeker, a dark dumb fire which can't track targets. Ah, okay, right, gotcha. Okay, so that's stuff that isn't immediately obvious. Oh, now someone's really drilling outside. <laughs> Hang on a bit, I've got to close the window. <laughs> See, <laughs> the only problem with weekends in the summertime is everyone starts doing DIY. <laughs> Uh, right, space drill. <laughs> That's what it was. That was a space drill. Uh, right, am I? Okay, nothing happened there. I can't. I quite like the skip to next exciting event thing that's going on. That's quite good. Okay, objective reached. And we can just sort of skip on. Yeah, <laughs> the turbo buttons. Okay, so Ooh, oh, minefield there. So this is. A variation on space asteroids, isn't it? And you can't shoot them. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go too close to that. Okay. Boom. Mines are going. Ah, that one got in my front shield. Let's go a bit faster. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I some front shields. All right, objective reached. Hazard near. We need to head over there. Yeah, the shield indicator. So that was that was the minefield. Okay, so the Kilrathi of. Uh, hang on, what was the? What was the command to switch the missiles again? Sorry, I've missed it in the chat now. I've forgotten. That needs a lot. Okay, W. Right. Okay. Thanks. Brilliant. Last, the enemy is upon us. Right. Okay. Right. So this is there. Right, Paladin. Protect my target. Got you covered, laddie. Shoot some snowballs at you because that works. Okay, there goes the missile. Oh no! I got shot to pieces. No! Oh, I'm dead again. It's quite. That's a bit brutal, isn't it? So I've got to. Presumably, I've got to eject. Um, oops, now I saved my game. Uh, <laughs> it's quite hard, actually. <laughs> Keep in mind, you can also shoot down your own missiles, so be careful while shooting all your missiles. Okay. Right, so can I continue the campaign from where I last saved? Yes. Okay, so let's try that. I'll load the game first. No, that's the game I want to load there. That says save this campaign. Awaken Drew. Yes. Okay, so I presume that will take me back to the beginning of the mission I was just on. Right, okay, let's try that again. So I need to be a bit more careful with my ship. It's quite, it's, it's quite tricky. Um, yeah, another Among Us movement right there. I like the music, I do. Right, okay, let's see if I can, see if I can, this is supposed to be a tougher ship, it didn't seem very tough there, but anyway, there we go. Right, off we go. AI for this game is quite interesting, enemy ships can break, attack to recharge shields or fly to the base of the extension damage. Okay, so, right. Uh, break and attack. Got you covered, buddy. Let's go, let's go do some stuff. Okay, I'm going to save my missiles, that was W, for the moment. For your shields to go down, is it? Ow, 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 ow. At least the shield will recharge, but even so. trying to decoy me away, which was, and that one's doing the same thing. So there, there is a bit of smartness in the AI, I like that. That was quite good. Interesting. 
Is there a range indicator to the enemy ship? Oh, there is up there. Yes, it's, it's, it's outrunning us. Okay, I'll let it come back then. It's running out of range. Yeah, it went out of range. Okay. Hmm. took some damage and then ran away. So that's, that's actually quite cool as well. Okay, get to reach. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now we should be traveling through the minefield. Is there any um, divert power to weapons, divert power to shields, divert power to engine stuff going on here that I don't know about? Or is it is it just basically, it, it is as it is? Is that, is that how the ship's set up? I wish there was a bit of yore. And not yore, a roll rather. There is yore, but there's no roll. Okay, so I'm keeping my missiles. Ooh, bang. Keeping my missiles for the battle, which I know is coming. Okay, objective reached. Now heading back that way. Live. I think to talk about right now. Shoot the mines. I think energy was induced in Wing Commander 3. Okay, so I haven't got to worry about that. So it's literally the ship is. Okay. Right, Paladin, break an attack. Let's go get these guys, right. Javelin. Okay, so that's the missiles. So some of these ships we know need multiple. Kills. Let's try to look on target. Ooh, last baby, watch it. Go hit him. Right, fire. Go. Guilt down. <laughs> Not at all. Alright, you're all dead. Miss on the way. Oh, I think I might have shot my missile there. Boom. Right, I've got one more. Yeah, forward shield. Okay, so you do have to think a bit in this game. I quite like that. There's a little bit. There is some sort of tactical play. It was just, yeah, presumably I could do more sophisticated things with the wingmen as well. But I haven't got any more missiles, darts. No, they're all dumb fires. Okay, so that's not going to help me. So I've got to take them down with good old-fashioned dogfighting skills. Boom. Yes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Less meaningful. Um, okay, the, the energy, energy system of X-Wing. Yeah, less meaningful than Fred. Remember, even with the energy thing back in the um, <laughs> Amazing, you can fly as you really porridge. Uh, Well-known space attire, kilt size. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I need to know about his kilt. Um, shield regen is pretty fast. Yes, there, it is actually, isn't it? So if you stay out of trouble for a bit, um, Okay, so I need to go back to Tiger's Claw. Nice. I think another successfully completed mission. Oh, now I've got to... So I don't come in oriented quite the right way around, do I? Unless the ship turns to meet me, which it doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to fly to it, it's kind of off to the side. And then turn. Kind of right. Very 
very very low res graphics um, <laughs> really quite hard to, to, to work out uh, okay that's kind of right okay there we go coming nice and slow there we go Commander, oh look, it's 07, the landing pad is 07. <laughs> Toggy, the hardest part of any space game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, my ship has got a few holes in it this time. Looks like it got a little hot out there. So yes, it did. It did. It was the minefield that was the problem. Um, the wing commander mitigate. See, like, yeah, that's, um, that's really low res. I don't know why it's quite so low res. Um, maybe that's just the 1990s limitation of DOS and things. Um, but yeah, these graphics seem quite, quite detailed. I know they're sort of paintings, aren't they? Uh, well flown, Jenny. Candle those flea blames like an old bro. Thanks for having pounds on my wing made it easy. It's very quick to reward everybody else, isn't it? Uh, or I am, should I say. Um, now, oh, laddie, don't brag me on or the colonel will start expecting more from me. It's all very tip tip pop pop, isn't it? Tally ho. Feels quite British actually, even though it's American. Use <laughs> scragged three. What's it? scragged? What's that mean? And Paladin came up empty. Oh, Paladin, you let yourself down. Um, that's all then dismissed. There we go. Okay, so how am I doing on here? Look. So the loot, first Lieutenant Wager is is up with 10, 10 points. Let's talk to Shock Glass. You met Maniac and Bossman. Oh, here we go. Maniac and Bossman. Maniac's a real lunatic. Good pilot, but way too erratic. Um, okay. Yep, I think I remember him. He was just coming up when the flea banks put, put me out of commission. Uh, just between you and me, I'd rather fly alone than with Maniac on my wing. <laughs> Bossman's another good, another story though. Okay, so he's a real team leader. Um, a crack pilot with 17 years behind him. Good, flown everything in the Terran fleet and blown up at least one of every class the Kilrathi have. Okay, so let's check out. Let's check out Maniac. Here we go. So, hey, Jenny, I'm Maniac. Good job, meet ya. Doesn't that actually look like um, um, Biff. <laughs> Bossman says we're going to see some action against some battleships. In Ooh, cool. Um, <laughs> he looks jolly excited. I can't wait. Dodging flak and fighter cover to make a missile run at a destroyer. Man, that'll be a rush. Get in there quick, waste the mamma cat, then pick the kittens off one by one. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> okay. Um, you look good. For, you look good for a rookie. Thanks. You handled yourself well in a dogfight, but we're going to be facing some bigger ships soon. All right, some serious action. A lot of young pilots get excited when they see the first destroyer. Uh, what do you mean by that, boss? So, so it looks like Maniac's quite young then. Okay. <laughs> the Maniac will smile, yeah. <laughs> they lose their heads and go straight over the battleship. They're a light fighter. They forgot and blast them from behind. Big ships move slow and turn like pigs. The thing to do is clean up the fighter cover first, then go in for the battleship. Okay, so that's that's quite a good tip. So there's a bit of... There's a bit of um, so let's, let's save this campaign. Yes. Uh, <laughs> big ships are good targets for dumb fire missiles. Okay, so the Tiger's Claw is pretty run down. Um, uh, Cyber Viper says um, uh, nicely on Wing Commander lot. So this is yes, this is Wing Commander one. This is this is ancient back in time with the, <laughs> the Tiger Claw and its water leak. <laughs> um, forget all that advice. Go for that battleship. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> Poor old Commander Jenny. Right, okay, so what are we doing? It's half past two, I've got time, probably time for a mission or two. Uh, right, McCulphy system. Well, boys and girls, things are getting ready to heat up. The Confederation is getting ready to mount a major offensive. Hey, excellent. So we're expecting several supply ships within the next 48 hours. Oh, dear. Um, not another escort mission, please. But scanners show increased kill wrathy activity in the system. We've got to clean up the enemy presence here at McCulphy. Right, so we've got to clean it. Before the tankers and sports transport start to arrive tomorrow, we detect a large bogey. 
childish. You know. He jumped in about 20 minutes ago and he seems to be headed. Why do they call them bogeys? <laughs> Might just be a small transport, but it's probably a small warship. Ooh. Jenny, you and Paladin are going to go out and get a look at it. Um, and destroy it if you can. Awesome. Faith lad. That'll be a challenge. Um, here's your flight plan. Okay. If the, if the bogey continues its present course and speed, you should meet it here at Nav 1. Um, we've detected a fighter escort in the area as well. Okay. So be on the lookout for additional, additional bogeys. It's pretty bad. There's, there's too many bogeys around. The girl oh, dispatching other wings to check out. There's, there's bogeys everywhere. Squadron dismissed. Okay, hang on. So. <laughs> Bogies on the starboard now. Um, it can't be raining out in space. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what the question we need answering is why is there a leak on the spaceship? It's Air Force lingo. Okay, they call them bogies because they get right up those. <laughs> Bogey, bogey is an old Scottish term that was a synonymous with the Phantom of Monster, in essence, a bad guy. Okay. So it's Scottish. And that man of handkerchief. Right, we're off. Um, okay, so what have I got on board? I've got a javelin and a dart, and that's it. Okay, so they didn't give me very many missiles, did they? How am I supposed to take down a battleship with uh, with with only one missile? Is that enough? Um, oh well, anyway, we'll find out, I guess. So, the enemy's upon us. Right, go get them, Paladin. Break an attack. Um, okay, so what have we got? Plus. What is that? One of my highly effective space snowballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one ready. on locking in on the system that's quite good come on hit it hit it hit it yes missiles actually work unlike certain space games of the 80s like I mentioned <laughs> and the 90s <laughs> but da 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 Okay, so I actually got multiple weapons of a uh, multiple missiles of a particular type on board. That's not entirely clear. Is there any way to tell how many weapons I've actually got on board the ship? Um, the heat seekers only work if you're behind the enemy ship, otherwise they can't lock on. Okay, so that sort of makes sense. Okay, so let's keep patrolling space. Is there a enemy carrier? Ooh, there's something there. So what have we got? Okay, go and get them, Paladin. Break an attack. What have we got out here? Okay, that just looks like a normal fighter. Oh, there's a there's a there's a launch ship there. Okay. Brutal, 
this game doesn't really give you a, a, give you much warning between when your shields go down and then you die. Uh, it's 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 hard work. You do have to save. Um, <laughs> save quite often. I save after every mission. I think actually. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> I don't know. The mass driver has a short range, but does do more damage than lasers. Okay, so how do I switch the how do I switch the mass driver and the lasers around? Okay, so W was for the weapon. How do I switch the how do I switch the main gun to that? So that's W weapon gun is the mass driver. Okay, so how do I switch the how do I switch the gun? Oh, I'll just launch <laughs> the dart. <laughs> Oops. Um, a scimitar only has mass drivers. Oh gee, okay, so I've only got mass drivers okay, on this particular ship. I've just now just launched one of my dumb files, which is a bit stupid. Um, okay, so I need to bear that in mind. Right, okay, just need to take more care. Um, Heldar says, oh my god, someone's streaming Wing Commander. Yes, yes, we're doing a, well, we're trying to do a playthrough. Um, so far, I've died about four times. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, now, oddly enough, this is a retro. This, I mean, this is a retro game. It's thirty-one years old. Um, but and I played Wing Commander three back in the day. But um, and I can. It, this does very much remind me. I mean, the graphics are very, very low res, but it's very playable. It's quite immersive. And then they're bullets are virtually impossible to dodge. Laddie, let me lose, will you? Have that missile. Good tailpipe. Boom, gotcha. Shields are. Ah, uh, shields are down. Damage. Uh, no, I'm in bad shape now. This isn't going well already. Computer system hit. Let me, what does he mean by that? This is, this is going very badly. I can't get the forward shields up. <laughs> I'll give it a break a minute. Oh, is that what I remember? Is that? Oh, boost out of danger. Okay, I need to up it. Right. <laughs> Number one wing commander stream. <laughs> Not without flying. <laughs> Okay, so hang on. Based on the state of the mothership, the shields are probably the only thing holding the fighter together. <laughs> I think you're right. Um, okay, so yes, the top... <laughs> we probably are uh, the top number one wing commander stream. So we're actually trying to do a playthrough from beginning to end. Uh, well, we've reached the end. <laughs> okay, that was it. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> um, yeah, it's a bit brutal. Okay, so uh, let's try that again. In the distant future, once again, <laughs> true attempts. <laughs> the mission, right? This time I'm I'm going to try and boost out of trouble. I keep forgetting to boost, and I accidentally lost one of my dumb fires. So, right, let's try this again. And I forgot to tell my wingman to do something. So, <laughs> other than that, it was a textbook mission. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let your wing commander loose, laddie. Yes, I forgot. I thought I had sent him some instructions, but obviously I hadn't. Thank you for the follow there, by the way, Mooncat45. Appreciate that. Um, right, here we go again. That's very Battlestar Galactica, isn't it, that launch? Um, uh, <laughs> Drew's actually really, really good. Yes, I have, actually. I just like that. The funeral cutscene really gets it for me. Yeah, quite right. Right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's try to do this properly. <laughs> Without dying. Um, games again. I think old games are harder. Okay, I think that's just a general observation. Right. Okay. Uh, Paladin. Right. Break and attack. Go for it, my friend. Go and do your do your business. Um, keep those bad guys off. Let's let's, let's do some of that boosting. There we go. Yeah, it actually actually helps, doesn't it, to dodge. Right. Okay. Let's have some of that. Point blank range there. You didn't like that, did you, Mr. Kilrathy? How long 
does the boost last, by the way, is it? Oh, he's running away. Okay. Yes, that's not good. Can't get him. It's not a very fast chip, this one. I think. They do, they, they, I'm quite impressed that the bad guys do demonstrate some tactics. When they get damaged, they run. And they try and recover, which is which is quite good, really. Boom! Got you. Da 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 da! Little bit of little uh, little music sting there. Oh no, a rebel! <laughs> you can rebel them. Oh, okay, I'm dead again. Ah oh, dear! I'm gonna get through this mission. I promise you. Awaken Drew, bring him back from the dead once more. <sighs> this is hard. Uh, <laughs> I've only got nine lives, laddie. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Right, let's, let's try this again. Back down there. Get quick, get there. <laughs> Each boost lasts about 10 seconds. Um, it is hard. I, th I think this game is pretty, pretty tough. Um, and yeah, I'm fairly familiar with space games, <laughs> and I'm I'm struggling here a little bit. The the enemy is is pretty good, to be fair. The game's also running too fast, and not sort of the way to slow it down. I might have a look then at the um, um I might have a look at the settings, see if there's anything we can do about that because it does feel a bit. I, I wouldn't. It doesn't feel overwhelmingly fast, but. Uh, it it does it is pretty difficult and it's very hard to dodge and see what <laughs> let's see what's going on because of all the <laughs> because the graphics are so low res oh we got one yeah you're right um, da 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 I didn't realise it was actually possible to ram the F alien ship so that's worth me knowing I wasn't actually trying to head, head, head on I, d I don't feel the speed is the problem. It's just it's chucking quite a lot of bad guys at me and my wingman in one go. You know, it's, it's you know, outnumbered two to one here, and their ships seem to be of comparable strength to mine. So, there we go. you know, obviously my superior flying skills are what's totally making the difference here. But <laughs> Oof, almost hit him. I'm trying to save the missiles because I do want them for later. I don't feel the game speed is too bad, it's just the, the odds. I mean, you're outnumbered badly. Yes. Aye, good shot, Commander. This druid is not very convincing Scottish accent. Right, here we go, let's get the last one. Save Paladin. He's clearly struggling. So your wingman. Now the the first. I oh, my first. What, what happened to um, Spirit? She was good. Okay, she actually killed somebody. None of the other wingmen I've had have actually <laughs> been any use at all, other than kind of <laughs> cannon fodder for the for the Gilrathi. Um, I want Spirit back. She was good. Can I choose my wingmen? I thought you. Pretty sure I remember you were able to do that in Wing Commander Three. But this one seems to just assign you a wingman. Because yes, there we go. Right, I didn't use any weapons either. Um, if you, um, you've only had three wingmen so far. Okay, so maybe I've got to go through the wingmen. And they sort of introduce me to them, and maybe then I can choose. They don't have a shield though. The ships get redder as they get more damage. Okay, if you kill Paladin, you'll get a new one. Okay, right. Okay, so now we've got. Okay, so break an attack. Go, go do your thing. Right, so we've got... Let's get rid of the fighters first. I think that's good tactics, personally. Okay, so their ships haven't got shields. Okay, that's worth knowing. They just get redder. Oh, that's 
a different type of weapon, so a different sorry, a different type of Kurathi. Oh no, he's got his kilt down again. It's very <laughs> such low range graphics that point blank range is really funny. Okay, got that one. So the, the the big ship that we've been sent out to deal with is actually the orange dot, I think. Okay, I'm on the case, Paladin. I'll bail you out, don't you worry. I thought Paladin was supposed to be like a super hot shot pilot. It doesn't seem to be. Ah, so the what do you say? The monkey. They caught me with his kilt down the <laughs> with his kilt. It's up and down. Like an up and downy thing. Come on, die. I do wish they'd used vector graphics rather than multi-mode sprites like this, because it's it's quite hard to see what the enemy's doing. Because because of that low resness. Right, okay, there we go. We got we got the fighter escort. So presumably, I'm just gonna fly away a little bit. Presumably now I switch to dumb fires. Okay, he's killed down again. Right, so now we've got to attack. Is that the... Right, that's the Kilrathi target. Okay, so we've got to attack that ship. Um, presumably we've done fire missiles, so I just sort of fly in and... I don't want the javelins, I want the... All I've got is javelins. Okay. <laughs> right, needs a lot. That means I've got to get behind it, surely. Is it firing back? Yes, it is. I can't fire the javelins without a lock. Okay, so let's... Will it lock on target? Yes, it will. Yeah, have some of that. Fire all the javelins at it. Just unload all the ordnance. And we'll fire again, that's it. Paladin, get out of my firing solution. <laughs> okay, I've got no no mass drivers. That was oh, we got it! Yes! <laughs> we took out a capital ship. Awesome! <laughs> so the monkeys can fight. Monkeys even. <laughs> da, 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 da. Awesome, yes! Still got the skills. Is that the tiger's claw? Excellent. Cool. All right. Let's go back to the uh, tiger's claw uh, request landing. Tiger claw, Jenny. Um, the reason I'm called Jenny, by the way, is it will take way too long to explain. <laughs> the force will be with me always. Indeed, it will. All right. Uh, yeah. It's really. <laughs> Okay, docking. The hardest part of any space game. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Okay, so where's the front of the ship? It's really hard to see. Um, there we go. There we go. Right, come in nice and slow. Slow, slow, slow. There we go. 07, commanders. <laughs> yes! But side of the graphics, the space model is solid. It is quite good. That 3D area despite the 2D map and it's infinite, so you can go away forever. Okay, so Squirrel was a better name. I think it was. <laughs> you got away pretty clean, sir. I know, and I took out the capital ship too. I saved Paladin's ass when, he's, when he lost his kilt. <laughs> Landing absolutely, yes. Um, that's, um, that's, um, um, yeah, the landing. Mission debriefing, right. What's I got to say for Paladin today? Because I don't think Paladin did anything. Nice job, Jenny. <laughs> it's got iron ads. You two Paladin, congratulations, but what, what did Paladin do? The kid did all the work. I think I did. I was just along for the ride. Those Kilrathi destroyers really aren't much to worry about, sir. You know, stop downplaying it. What's the, ma what's the matter with the man? Now to review the mission. Record the shows you killed B, Jenny. B? Oh, six. <laughs> one oh, Paladin did get one. Uh, by the way, we've identified the big bogey. <laughs> it's a Rolari class destroyer. A Rolari. Good job taking her out. Yes, got a capital ship. B. 
<laughs> Sorry, yeah. Mm. You took out B. What? Six. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> no, you see that space debris in the background there? That, that's, that's what remains of the Kilrathi ship. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> He's got an eye on that, so we've got a good view of it when he builds his guilt down. He has, yes. <laughs> right, let's see what everyone's got to say for themselves. Are they? Uh, I'm glad to see you and Paladin getting along so well. Yes, Pal well, Paladin's not as good as, as Spirit was. He'll be retiring soon. <laughs> oh, right, okay, good. Been flying fighters for 20 odd years, now they're putting him out the past. Yeah, well, he was a bit slow, to be honest. He wasn't much use out there. He and I used to fly together back before the war started. Uh, darn good man, the old claw will miss him. Okay, so he's a good lad, basically, right. Okay, let's talk to Paladin. He'll be presumably reminiscing about the good old days. We'll be pulling out a McCulfey soon. And the Colonel likes to shake the wings up every now and then. Okay, so let me give you one last piece of advice before you retire. A young woman ain't gonna to stick by you the way I have, lad. Okay. That's no quizzes of them, lad, just a fact. A youngster's got a name to make and a career to think on. Fair enough. He'll be looking to make a hero of himself. Or herself. Come on, let's be inclusive. Um, an old man like myself, on the other hand. <laughs> myself. Well, I just want to make it back so I can retire in one piece. Fierce stare. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. Look, he's, he actually does serve drinks. Uh, I can't actually get a drink, but at least there are some drinks in evidence. <laughs> B, maybe the commander was making a joke in Exodesimal. <laughs> B is 11 in X. Maybe I should take the B. That's a very good point. And that's a very, very nerdy, geeky fact as well. <laughs> Jenny, sit down. I want to compare notes with you. Okay, who's this? I've got this name. Um, I've been watching the way Del Rathi... Uh, the, the, Drowthy maneuver. I think I've noticed something. Don't tell me they these ones always turn right. Seems to me that when you're hot on a Drowthy's tail, he pulls a loop to shake you. Mm. He always goes up or down, never to the side. Ever notice that? Can't say I have actually, but you know, I've just been shooting at them. Uh, you shrug in tentative agreement. Okay. <laughs> Narrator voice. Well, they do. Always up or down, never left or right. So, top tip. Okay, you know that, I believe you're right. <laughs> Says the guy who's been flying for 20 years. <laughs> I think it's because those big wings block their vision to the sides. Okay, they could roll, okay. Um, above and below, between the wings, their vision is clear. So, they, they fly where they can see. Maybe that's just what they want you to think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Check the pilot score. So there, I'm still I'm still in second place. Okay, so the other guys do slowly move up as well. Okay, so it won't take me long though to get a bit higher up, will it? Um, and is it is that a chalkboard? It is, isn't it? <laughs> it's not like some sort of high tech computer interface that you might expect on a starship. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not high tech. It's a chalkboard. <laughs> I've just noticed this. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> for anybody who is born, I suppose, after about 1919, 19, well, probably around about now, about the time this game came out, um, I don't think chalkboards exist anywhere now. <laughs> but this is an old school way of writing information on a, on a panel, okay? You have a black panel and you pick up a piece of chalk and you would scribble on it, okay? That's how it used to work. And then we've, we've switched over now to whiteboards with with marker pens, which I suppose are an awful lot less environmentally friendly, actually, as it turns out. But quite why there's a chalkboard on a spaceship is a question that I will leave for other people to answer, because I have no idea. Um, it's even got a, no, it's even got a rubber, yeah, the, 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 the eraser. Chalk, chalk, chalkboards in space. It's like they've got anti-gravity tech. They've got, like, shields and weapons and space drives and hyperspace. <laughs> They've still got a chalkboard. <laughs> it's like the CRTs in Battles of Legends, sort of retro. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason. Maybe there's some bizarre tradition in the world of Wing Commander that you have to have a chalkboard on your spaceship. 
<laughs> I, well, <laughs> I have no words. Um, maybe it's just like super cheap and practical and you can go up and rub things off. Um, <laughs> It's quite right. Right, save my save my game. You are quite right. Save my game. Save this campaign. Yes, there we go. Right, save name. Right. I in that case, it's 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 we're tiny little bit early. It's six minutes to the end of the stream, but I haven't got I haven't got time to run another mission. So I think we'll call it shots at that point, my friend. Um, <laughs> well, to be honest, um, interesting enough, the game format is identical to Wing Commander three and four, where you have a so the bar area where you can chill out and interact with characters, you have the, yeah, the save space, and then you go on through to the kind of the missions, and there's a there's a training simulator. All of those things exist in later games from my memory. Um, so you can kind of see the lineage of the game. Um, for a 1990s game, it's very playable. Um, it's very very playable. Um, so you know, so that that that's pretty good, I think. I'm not sure about the speed, and it's it's a bit brutal, but it's not. It's not so brutal that I'm going, this is unplayable, like some of those Spectrum games. Um, but um, it's it's quite hard. But I think that's more kind of, games were hard in you know, back in the day compared to what they are now. They're much more forgiving now. Um, um, were there more areas in Wing Commander 3? Yeah, I think there were. I mean, you've only got some very basic, but this is the 90s. So this is 1990, literally 1990. So I think it's a little bit more, um, you know, but they are, they, they've got drinks. <laughs> Clearly, they can get drinks from the bar, um, which is good. Um, so, yeah, it's 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 quite good. I'm quite impressed. And in Wing Commander Three, there were were some choices. I don't think they've, they've seen that. Um, so, <laughs> where's the dartboard? Yeah, it needs a dartboard, doesn't it? Um, this was quite neat. Um, I'm not sure about the drip. <laughs> I think the the pinup girls are a little bit dodgy. <laughs> Even for 1990, really, but um, that seems to be a that seems to be a thing on the Tiger Claw. Whoever's in charge is clearly, clearly quite a retro commander. Um, <laughs> imagine playing darts when someone's got a finger on the anti gravity button. <laughs> um, anyway, I will I will stop at this point in time because we we have saved, haven't we? So that's good, and we can we can continue on with the missions. I'm quite enjoying that. Actually, I think it's it's not a bad game. It's it's quite immersive. It feels like you're you're doing some good stuff. So um, we will continue. I don't know how long the game is. Um, I don't know how long they get. How many missions are there? Does anybody know? So um, uh, that would be interesting to know roughly how how long it will last us to play and get through the game. But we'll find out. I imagine there's quite a few. Um, anyway, see you next week, and we will continue continue with more Wing Commander. Um, quite a good fun actually. Um, so uh, more retro stuff. Back on Monday, back on Thursday, and then back again obviously on Saturday as well. Um, so it's got a mission tree based on the success in the battles and different endings. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> Look forward to all that sort of stuff. Take care, my friends. See you on. Have a fantastic rest of the weekend, and be good. And I'll see you soon.